Hello, today we're going to be looking at observing osmosis in real time using our friend the red onion and a light microscope. So let's get cracking. First things first, we're going to be cutting out a sample, a specimen of red onion in the same way that we did before, as you remember. I'm going to take a very thin slice of red onion, thin again because we're using a light microscope like Mitsu Pastu. And from there, we're going to be adding two different types of solutions. Slip on the slide. Again, we lower the cover slip using the mounted needle. To avoid air bubbles. I'm going to put this prepared onion specimen onto the light microscope. And they're going to find a bit of the red region. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of distilled water. Now, remember, distilled water is hypotonic. Therefore, it has a very high water potential. If it has a high water potential, by osmosis, it should then move into the red onion cells and making them fully turgid. So the cell membrane should be full. Okay? After that, we're going to dab away the water. We're then going to add some really strong, really concentrated salt solution. So this is hypertonic. And therefore, because it's hypertonic, it should then draw water out of the cells by osmosis then we should be able to see plasmolysis occurring. And how I'm going to do that is just with water. I'm going to introduce that very slowly on the, on the slide. And then I'm going to draw the water through using some paper on the other side of the slide, like so. Simple as that. Let's have a look what I can see. So here's our first example of cells that are where the cytoplasm is thoroughly full. If you can see all the pink coloring that you see there, that's all due, of course, to the red pigment that is present in red onion. So these are all cells where the cytoplasm and the cell, therefore the cell membrane, is completely pressed up against the cell wall. Now. This is in water, pure water, where again, water has gone into the cells that makes the cell membrane fully pushed against the cell wall. And hence we see all these beautiful cells looking as cells ought to. What happens next? So now that I've done and looked at the cells in water, I'm now going to add some concentrated salt solution to the whole thing. Again, I take a bit of the salt solution and then add it to the side here on the side of the cover slip, and then pull that through with some paper and dab it along. Like that. And now the cells are in salt water. Let's have a look again. So as you can see, as the salt water makes its way across, it makes all the cells along the way become more plasmalized. So you can see these white bits starting to reappear. Especially there. Let me just bring the, as you can look around here, very clearly. I'm just going to go where the needle suggests. There. If I go in by zooming a bit more to that. You can see the cell membrane has totally come away from the cell wall, basically dehydrating the cell. As the water leaves the cell, it the cell membrane is pulled away from the cell wall.
And there you go. Osmosis in an onion.